Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. First thing off, I'd like to apologize for the lack of the video on Kanami's Gacha banner. I did try to make a video out of it, but um, well, Audacity decided to mess things up for me. So, hey <laughs> guys, I do have my three pools for Kanami's banner on my Facebook page for my YouTube channel. You can check that video there. Uh, link is in the description down below and let's talk about Kaname's episode plate and Reina's episode plate right now to see which is actually better um, let's say for example if you're planning to get um, uh, you know either one of these plates um, it could be either for the character or maybe because you're just a hardcore player at heart and you just want to compare the stats for both plates so as you can see both look really really pretty uh, in their brand new costumes and of course let's take a look at Kaname's first because she's long overdue so as you can see um, the banner as usual will pop up and introduce you the best stats of the episode plate itself but let's take a full detailed look at the plate to see whether it's actually worth all your singing stones or maybe even your physical cash if you intend to buy singing stones from the store itself all right so first off the four divas equipable with the episode plate, do take note of them. Alright, 3541. Um, like in my last gacha video, I did mention that uh, the plates nowadays have been coming up with very, very good total scores, which kind of almost rivals the highest stat of. Uh, Plate out there currently in Utah Macross, which belongs to the Macross 7 generation. Uh, and of course, this one focuses on charm, pretty high detailed stats, and of course, a pretty decent amount of stats for voice as well, which is a pretty, uh, I think, common thing nowadays uh, for this current generation of episode plates. Center skill units total will be increased by 20% up. So, with that uh, being said, you can tell straight away that Kaname's plate is not meant to be used as a center plate or maybe even an active uh, active skill plate. So let's take a look at this active skill to see whether it's actually really worth to use it as a center. Uh, sadly to say, well, 12 seconds, your combos do not break. I guess this plate can be used for practicing those really, really difficult uh, songs like maybe Extreme or even the plus versions of the difficulties. Uh, if you are still having trouble with 6 button play and sliding, uh, that kind of thing. So yeah, this plate is going to help you with practice. I guess that's what Kaname is very well known for. That's why she has the nickname Kanamama. So anyways, life skill at the 48 second mark for 16 seconds. Your life depletes uh, 20 for every second. And of course, there's a 100% boost in score. Um, like I mentioned, it is becoming very very common nowadays for these um, high level plates to have all these kind of skills. We are definitely stepping into a brand new era of Uta Macross. Well, since we uh, we have found out that the new era for Japan is going to be Reiwa, which is very very similar to Reina's name. <laughs> but anyway guys, uh, yeah, so taking a look at the special notes, Kaname's plate has a special note attached to it which is good for high score purposes so is this plate actually worth all your singing stones that you've been storing up yes it is in fact if you don't have enough singing stones to even get this plate i would recommend you to actually spend a bit of money to hopefully try i i underline and quote hopefully uh, i cannot emphasize this enough because well, we all know how trashy the rates are in Uta Macross. Well, not, not as bad as other mobile games out there anyways. <laughs> so yes, if you can spare a bit of cash, support the game, try and get Kaname's, uh, Kaname's plate. It's definitely going to help you in the long run uh, when it comes to high score challenges. Alright, so let's take a look at Reina's to see whether hers is on par with Kaname's in terms of stats, skills and special notes. So Reina looking as lovely as always with the gentle smile which is very rare of her actually. So yeah, alright so 3549 total stats, fantastic, definitely higher than Kaname's surprisingly even though uh, Kaname is the leader of Valkyrie. Yeah, so <laughs> focusing on Soul and of course Charm. So both 
plates have different side stats. Um, Kanami's focus on voice, Reina focuses on soul, so I guess both plates really varies accordingly to the song that you probably want to aim uh, for a high score for. Um, take note of the four divas equipable with the episode plate. I think Cheryl is able to equip both Reina's and Kaname's plate if I'm not wrong. I did see her image light up for both sides. I might be wrong, who knows. Um, so yeah, center skill, same as Kaname's units total increases by 20% up. Alright, so active skill, um, not the same as Kaname's but pretty much similar. Uh, both plates are not meant to be used as active skills. Um, Unless, you know, maybe for missions, for practicing and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, Kana, uh, Reina's actually makes it easier for 20 seconds to make it easier to tap those notes. So, like I said, Reina's and Kaname's plates are going to help you when it comes to practicing uh, extreme level songs or even those plus level songs uh, in Ukama Cross currently. Alright, live skill. Okay, it's different from Kaname's because this is more for a short uh, duration song that's why it's uh, no sorry this is a long duration song so this is a score repeat for th uh, for every 30 seconds you know uh, it activates for seven seconds and it gives you an 80 percent boost in score so yeah um both plates are meant for high score purposes but you know they vary in terms of uh which song you actually play. Kaname's is meant for short duration songs while Reina's is meant to be for long duration songs like those that last you more than uh, two minutes that kind of thing. So yeah. And of course if Reina... Ooh! Reina also has special notes attached to the plate. So both are the blue element plates. They also have um, the score notes. Do you need both of them? If you're a hardcore player, I would say go for both of them because both plates are for different things. And they give that score boost note. So, can you imagine equipping both of these plates for high score challenges? You are definitely going to hit that 4, four million mark uh, pretty easily. Um, so yeah, then it really comes down to which character you prefer if you only have certain amount of stones available for pulling the gachas. I guess... If you like Kaname more, go for Kaname. If you like Reina more, go for Reina. If you don't like either of them, well, um, save up your singing stones. Maybe in the future, your favorite diva will have a plate equivalent to this kind of standard. But who knows when it will appear. So guys, if you're just aiming to enjoy the game for your favorite diva, I would say hold your stones for now. But if you're a hardcore music player, I would definitely recommend you to go for both of them. Uh, if you have the money, that kind of thing. So anyway guys, I am going to pull Reina's gacha because I've already done so for Kaname and I am more of a Reina fanboy compared to Kanamama. So yeah, I'm going to toss all my singing stones right now into Reina's banner so you can see I'm going to pull three template pulls. If I do get Reina's plate earlier, then I definitely might stop because April is the month where Ranka's birthday comes in. That's going to be a lot more money going down the drain. Anyways guys, let's do this. We're going to do our first template pool. Hopefully it is not as horrendous as the ones that I did for Kaname. Which was really really um, painful to watch. If you have not watched that, I would highly recommend you to go and take a look at how horrendous that was. <laughs> Alright, one plane... So, pretty horrendous as compared to Kaname's pool at the beginning, I suppose. Okay, we do get two red boxes, so uh, that's not too bad. At least there is still a chance that either one of the red boxes might evolve. Um, as always, we do know that if the first red box evolves, there's a chance that the second one might as well. But if the first one doesn't evolve, then all of them won't, uh, sadly to say. Alright, so let's skip all the common stuff. Lots of mechs going around. Here we go, the first red box. So no evolution, that's kind of sad. But we, it's always nice to have duplicates uh, when it comes to 4 stars. Because, you know, uh, having those plates with extra luck is fantastic as well. Lots of Makina, wow! So this is more of a Makina gacha than a Reina gacha. So, alright, I didn't mention in the Kaname video because it's just all gacha pulling. Um, but 
during that um, recording session, I went ahead with pulling um, the next template without even exiting the screen, and that was horrendous. So guys, to me, I think it's proven fact. Um, it is better to exit the gacha page, re-enter to refresh the luck rate, and hopefully you get something better out of the second and third pool or how many pools you're intending to do accordingly you know for yourself all right so let's do the second one hopefully we at least get to see a rainbow box this time round all right so let's do this one plane two planes three planes four five not too bad so there is a chance for a rainbow box um, one red box off the first round and oh my goodness so I hope this single red box does evolve. If not, I mean, I'm, it's really, really painful to actually experience such a devastating pool. Um, there's a ton of max, <laughs> and lots of Basara in the lane as well. Ah, uh, my goodness, Makina, tons of her. Oh, I do get a Ranka. Not too bad. All right, here we go. The only red box. So no evolution. Reina, what are you thinking? You don't deserve. I don't deserve you, is that right? That's why you're not coming out. <laughs> but we, I think that is a brand new plate that for her costume. So yeah, there we go. We do get a notification that that plate does contain points for Reyna's costume. So yeah. Okay, so we're going to exit again. Uh, and hopefully get some better luck. Because, oh my goodness, this is horrendous. You know, if, if I were to include Kaname's pools, it is six gachas. Uh, six template pools with only um, two five star plates appearing. So I don't know. Let's see whether the third one will actually be the better uh, outcome. Here we go. One. So one plane. Hopefully a golden orb. No. Okay. It is horrendous. Dana, what is with your gacha? Woo! Four red boxes. Okay. So I don't know. Here we go, the first red one, so no evolution. Oh, wow! I did not expect side characters to appear in an episode plate. <laughs> now that is interesting. Okay. That's a Maki Ray together. Alright, here we go, the second red box. Oh, okay, we do get rare episode plates from the, um, from the red boxes, so I'm not too unhappy about it. But still, kind of sad. Okay, we do get the exclusive plate for the current gacha banner for Reina, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, so lots of Maki Ray at the end or so. Oh, lots of rare plates from this pool. So um, I'm not too sure how I feel about it. it. It's pretty nice to see rare episode plates appear. But, um, you know, considering that I didn't get a single rainbow box that is really uh, devastating in my opinion but this is this is pretty awesome <laughs> I didn't I didn't expect an episode played with uh, side characters from Macross series you know so there we go <laughs> all right so um, definitely do not have Reyna's plate as you can tell I'm hoping you guys have better luck than I do. I am 40 stones away from uh, another pool, so I guess I might do that on my own. And hopefully, if I do get Reyna's plate, I'll be very, very happy. Um, but, you know, until then, um, I just had to wait and uh, receive that 300 singing stones from the retweet campaign, which I did post in the Macross Space Time Day Culture Facebook group. So, guys, if you have not followed us there yet, please what are you waiting for the links are in the description down below and as always guys thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end hopefully you guys have better luck than i do because as always dana decides to throw me with horrendous luck even though i'm tossing money into their game and dana when are you going to sponsor me <laughs> so hey guys uh hopefully you guys had better luck than me like i said as always in my videos i apparently i repeated it twice but it's always nice to wish people luck uh, I'm sure you, some of you guys out there will have uh, hor uh, miracle, not horrendous, but miraculous uh, fingers. Maybe even with single pulls, you might even pull out the key plate. 
you know, that kind of stuff. And yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if all the information is useful to you guys. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, then subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross Gacha video. Until then, bye!